Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you get a picture which has been over sharpened. This one in particular came out of a phone and I think it was sharpened inside the phone. And if I sort of zoom into it, you're going to see the kind of sharpening you've got here. It's pretty, pretty horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two specialist blurs but ones which try to preserve edges but allow the middle to blur a bit so we hope to get the main detail and hang on to that the ones we want whilst blurring away the worst of this so the first one of those if i go to light filters here is going to go to the median blur and um, always click preserve alpha there otherwise you get funny things at the edge and we just turn this up until you see we're beginning to lose that there just somewhere close to the edge of that because you want to preserve as much detail as possible what we also want to do is, is yeah, let's down here they say there's a bit of a this is more of the foreground here i want to preserve this in particular if i take that off you can see i'm losing something along us here and i'm making that not as crunchy as before but the foreground detail I'm losing it as well so what i'm going to do is this foreground is darker so i'm going to apply this more in the lighter areas than the darker areas and the way to do that is i go to the blend options here also known as blend ranges go to the right hand graph here and pull down the left hand side and you can see there this so that means i'm not applying it to the darks saying so applying to underlying composition ranges so you use the right hand one when you're using adjustments or filters and you can also uncheck the linear there and kind of pull this up here see whether this makes it a little bit better how much we can go before we start losing detail there so that's not bad so that's something like that and then we go to the next one which is an even better version of preserving edges which is the bilateral because the median is the older version but it uses a different algorithm and use both together you can get an improved effect so i go to the bilateral blur there i'll leave up the blend options because i'm going to do the same thing with that so i'm going to go back up to here and I'll leave the tolerance where it is and just turn up radius preserve alpha and can i this is going to go a little bit too far so i'm going to go to the medium blur again click on the icon here and it will immediately switch between them i'm going to turn this down here a bit seeing i've got it's starting to get holes in this so i want to kind of go to somewhere that's reasonable there and just switch between the two and see if i can kind of improve this a bit here whilst turning down this here and in fact i'm going to go to the bilateral blur and i can do the same thing here turn off the linear bring this up here so it applies only to the lighter areas not to the darker areas i think i need to bring the medium blur up there to get rid of those holes there so i'm going to turn that up it is a bit of a lag because there's a calculation and this is a reasonably quick computer so I'm trying to get a little bit of texture into this without making it look too bad. And how do I manage that here? So there, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit there so I'm getting some texture. And then let's look down here at the, the log here. Here's an even better one. And click one, shift click the other to get both of them. Turn it off, on. You lost a little bit there but it's not too bad could play with this a little bit more but you get the idea of what we're doing we're trying to preserve the foreground whilst we're kind of addressing the, the issues that we've got in the background there maybe this will move this try that no that's not going to do make a difference there it's just the radius here i'm going to turn that down just a tiny bit here maybe there maybe maybe put it up again you're going to find the balance of you're losing some things but you're not losing your your main foreground detail maybe that's okay so control zero to get us back out again 
we can turn that off. And then we can look into the picture, we can look into the detail here, and we can look further up here. That's not too bad up there. So that's the method. It's not perfect, but you can get better than it was. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.